Hey guys, welcome back. It is now day four of the 12 Days of Homemade Christmas Challenge. And today I'm gonna be showing how to make bath salts. Again, this is the other thing that I have for my little box that I made. If you saw our very first video, that's the only bit that I have. I don't have any more to add to that, but it's this is gonna be super fun and super easy. And this one actually uses mica powder. So that's gonna be fun, it's gonna be lovely and sparkly. So let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, this is made up of Epsom salt. So this is going to be a normal batch. We'll take a cup and a half of Epsom salt and half a cup of baking powder, or baking soda, sorry, baking soda. <laughs> but this one I'm going to be doubling so I'm going to have three cups of this stuff and a cup of baking soda. Right, then it's gonna be half a or no, for this uh, whole cup of baking soda. Right, so I'm going to get the batch mixed up for this specific cup, which I think is almost two cups, but not quite. It was um, maybe a cup and three quarters but I just wanna make sure to get the right amount. I'm going to see what fit in here and then pour that into a separate bowl. Okay, so that'll fill that up. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. Okay, so we have this bowl of bath salt. In that, we can put a little bit of color. So for the color, I'm using mica powder and I'm actually using this thing that I've already made, the sugar scrub, which you can find that in a video from last year. But I also made that to put in that box. And I'm just using that as color reference so I can get a matching color. And depending on how much color you want in it, you can put different amounts of micro powder. For this, I'm looking for a really light color, so I'm not putting, I'm putting like barely any in it. Uh, that's about the pink that I like. So I'm going to grab some essential oil and just sprinkle that in. And the amount of that you put in is up to personal preference. Right, there's one batch ready to go. Next, I'm gonna mix up the next one. You said pink, right? You want pink? Coral pink, all right. We shall get you coral pink. Okay, go and I'm going to, once again, add some color in. This one's gonna be a little bit brighter. You want to add the mica powder pretty slowly. I have had instances where I made something like this that takes mica powder and then I've added way too much at once and it makes it really bright or dark or something and I really didn't like it and I had to throw it out because it was just a really ugly color. <laughs> a little brighter, okay. Michaela's here getting this one. All right, adding a few drops of essential oil to that as well. And then there's not very much that's left. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more to fill up this last jar. There's that, so now you can start dumping these into their respective jars. I think it's kind of funny that my two pink ones are lavender scented and the purple one is rose scented. All 
All right, thank you so much for joining me while I show how to make these. This is super fun and easy and they make adorable gifts for people and I'm so excited to put this in the box with all the rest of my stuff for my cousin. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if this content is useful to you. And stay tuned for the rest of our 12 Days of Homemade Christmas.